Hi everybody, how are you today? Hope you're having a great day. So today I'm gonna to demo our magnetic poetry kit, which is part of the April uh, celebration of poetry, because uh, it's National Poetry Month. And this is a kit that we have available for teens. This is what your kit is gonna look like. And then this is what's gonna be in your kit. So we have a piece of magnet that has a sticky back. We'll be taking this off. Uh, the instructions, which are on the outside. Um, a page of words and a friction pen. And these are really awesome pens and I'll show you why in just a little bit. You are gonna need a pair of scissors, but that's the only thing that you're going to need to provide for this craft. So once you open up your kit, you wanna cut out the outside edge of the paper. Do not cut out the words yet. We're just cutting out this border that's outside the line. You're gonna notice you have blank spaces. You do wanna keep that as part of what you're doing and we'll explain that in a little bit as well. So I'm just gonna cut out the edge. And if you don't get it perfect, that's okay because we're gonna be doing some trimming later. So don't, don't worry if you're leaving a little bit on the edge, that's not a problem. There we go, we have that all up. Now, our next step is going to be to put the words on the magnet. So the black part is the magnetic back. The white part is the, gonna be the sticky side and that's what we're gonna peel off. And what I found to work best is to catch an edge and fold it back about that far and kind of crease your paper. Then you're gonna take your words and it doesn't matter if you go this way or this way, if there's, you know, either way it's gonna work fine. And then you're gonna to wanna to come down here and get it as close to the edge as you can. And just go ahead, line that up, hold it kind of up this way, secure your first words. Now we can peel back. And again, I only kind of go part of the way and so as I'm coming across, I'm smoothing these down to try and avoid bubbles. Voila. You now have magnetic words. So we're gonna do the same thing again where we're gonna trim the outside. And these are metal tables, so that's why you keep sticking to it but we're gonna trim right to trim any of the sticky magnet off the outside. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna trim that off. It might get a little sticky on your scissors, so you need to pull that off. And you're gonna do that all the way around on all four edges. Then you're gonna go back and trim out your words. And I personally found it easiest to trim column of words and then trim those apart. Now one of the things you're going to notice on the words is that a lot of them are full words but some of them are endings and beginnings. So the full words you want to just cut out regularly. These you're going to be cutting in half. Um, also we have like some of the smaller words and and the. I put two sets of those in there because just they're common words. Um, but you have endings and beginnings. So these we're gonna cut down smaller and then just the words. So I'll show you how we do that. And again, we're keeping those blank pieces and I'll show you why in just a minute. So there's that. You can just keep snipping them off. Watched. Okay, and so then these that I was talking about, you might want to cut smaller. We're going to trim those pretty close because then those becomes ending. So we go from watch and these little tidbits you can just throw away to watcher. Voila! So, and you can also 
do beginning. So we have the word cause. We can do because, or we can do caused. So there you go. That's how you can, you know, work with your different words. Then if as you're working on your poetry, like I did a little bit, one, little one here, um, if there is a word you want to use that isn't in these, you can use a blank spot. So you can see here, I wrote in the word even with my friction pen. Now, the reason these friction pens are cool is they are erasable. So when you want to change the word, you erase off your old word. You put on a new word. And voila, you have a whole new word. And you can erase them and reuse them as many times as you'd like. I will tell you, the longer you leave the ink on the, the piece, the, um, the harder it'll be to erase. So like you can leave it for a couple days and you're gonna be fine. But like if you leave it on there for months, it's gonna start to leave some shadows. It's still reusable, um, but it might leave some shadows. Uh, these also work on any kind of paper. They also come in all kinds of really fabulous colors and styles. So if you, if you enjoy this pen, uh, check out other friction pens. They're really awesome. So that is our teen kit for um, April, the magnetic poetry. These will be available beginning April 1st. Uh, just contact your library to, and these are available all the branches countywide. Just contact your local branch to arrange pickup of your magnetic poetry kit and home away. <laughs>